Hello, my name is Kristen. Uh, this is my video talking about collaboration. I thought it would be fun to kind of walk around my work and show you um, what we typically do here. So um, I am an OR nurse. I work as a circulator. This is our OR. So there tends to be a lot of collaboration here. Um, I usually uh, am the circulator. I will walk around. We tend to use this board to keep track of the counts. Um, so needles, uh, you want to make sure the laps and sponges are accounted for. Uh, blades, don't want to leave anything in anybody, that's not good. Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is what I do every day. Uh, this is a plastic surgery center. Um, so I work with a board certified plastic surgeon um, as well as anesthesiologists, um, other RNs, and we take care of the patient. So I'm gonna walk on over here. Um, so some collaboration that we do, uh, we work directly with the anesthesiologists. That's all the fun equipment we have here. Um, we perform intubation uh, during the surgery. Uh, we monitor the patients, as you can see on that lovely monitor to my right. Um, and then we also uh, administer medications during surgery. So more often than not, um, I will be asked to draw medications or um, local anesthetic that is used during the procedure. Um, the surgeon usually makes that known to me um, and I will draw up the medication. Um, additionally, I will be keeping an eye on the vital signs to let the surgeon know if the patient becomes uh, tachycardic or bradycardic. Um, additionally, um, I'm also responsible for making sure that the OR is in a pristine state. So I'm walking around making sure that if anything is dropped, uh, it's picked up. I'm making sure the patient is in the proper position. If a hand gets loose, it's my responsibility to tuck it back in. Um, same with the position of the legs. Um, if the position of the legs are incorrect, it can cause almost kind of a um, foot drop scenario, which is not a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of collaboration that we do on a daily basis here, which is um, very interesting. We see a lot of different cases and a lot of different patients. Um, this coming Monday, we have a gynecomastia surgery, which is to remove um, male breast tissue. And then we also have an implant exchange with a dermal matrix that we're putting into our uh, breast augmentation patient. As far as things that I think that can be improved on. Um, there have been times uh, in the OR where things will pop up and you just have to um, kind of think on your feet, so to speak. Um, trying to think what else, kind of rambling a bit here. Uh, as far as the video goes, um, the Villa Health video, I think that the implementation of the um, computer system that they were referring to was a bit rushed. Um, I think that that could have been handled a lot better. Um, it, from the collaboration standpoint, it seems as though because it was rushed, proper training was not was not um, accounted for, um, which kind of trickled down to the nurses, which is not a good thing. Uh, nurses were saying that it actually affected patient care, which is something we definitely don't want. We don't want medications being... Um, you know, being omitted or being withheld. Um, one of the other nurses said that she would often have to leave care in order to go help the other nurse with the electronic system, which again, not something that we want to be happening. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's, collaboration is key. So proper communication. Um, you know, I, I just read a study just talking about uh, using uh, appropriate medical terminology um, amongst, you know, uh, medical disciplines. Um, reaching out to the IT department um, for that particular scenario and making sure that they understand the training and making sure that they understand what they're teaching to the nurses. So therefore, if the nurses have questions, they can go to the IT department. It seems to me that the IT department was not trained properly because they were trying to address these issues and not having any luck with it at all. Um, I didn't really cite any particular sources for this video. I just sort of uh, drew on my own experience. Um, I do have some sources on collaboration that I am going to be using for my next paper, so I will certainly talk a little bit more about those in that paper, but I um, really hope you enjoyed my video. Again, that's our OR, and that's what we do here in Brookline.